Hey guys, I want to show you how to deploy Django channels in production. First thing first, for deploying Django channels, we will be using ASGI, not WSGI. I have already created a Django channels project by following the exact tutorials present in the Django channels documentation. As you can see, our development server is running. And even our Docker container with Redis is running. Let's, let's refresh it. Okay, let's let's try. Hi. Hello. As you can see, this is working fine. Now let's go to the deployment part. As you can see, my virtual machine is running. And I have already did the SSH thing and already created and I have already cloned my GitHub repo. As you can see, this is my GitHub repo. Um, now, now we have to install the required packages. So what I will do is this will install all those packages like Django channels and Redis. It will install in the virtual environment. Let it finish. And next thing we have to do is like we have to install UACon, Unicon, and NGNX. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, now let's test our server. As you can see, there are no errors, so we can assume that it's working good. So next thing we have to do is we have to install NGNX. Let's do to it. As we have installed our required packages, let me show you something like how this is a development environment of Unicom. As you can see, like. As you can see, this is working perfectly fine. It's listening ASGS server, lifespan, and all those things. Now let's configure our NGNX server. Before that, we have to configure our Unicorn services. I'll just copy paste this. This is self explanatory. Like it basically shows where our working directory. This is our project working directory, users group execute the command here i am using the virtual environment path of unicorn django channels.asg same the these things uh, okay let, let me save this next thing now we have to even create a socket thing just do nano this is just copy paste, there's nothing much to explain in this. Let's save. And next thing, just I'll start the socket. This is good. Let me check like the status. This is working good. And even the unicorn status. Uh, it's inactive like once you start it will become to active state let me reload all those things the next thing is now we have to configure our nginx server now for configuring our nginx server like i just want to override my default server this is the default thing i'll just override it with my code I'm done with the copy pasting thing. Okay, let me save and exit this. Mm, the next thing I have to do is to reload the server. For reloading the server, I'm just using this basic sudo like nginx hello. Sorry, this typo. Yeah, uh, now it should work. 
like i have already tested it as you can see like our chat room is working good let's enter some chat room let it be abc and let's open the same thing in another browser Uh, let's say hi yeah as you can see like this is hello some random as you can see this is working perfectly fine i have already installed my redis server and all those things in this that's the reason it's working good i think this is enough thank you guys